Okay, we've got a spherical balloon, and uh, gas is escaping from that balloon at the rate of 12 cubic feet per hour. And we want to know at what rate is the radius of the balloon decreasing. So you have to know the formula for the volume of a the sphere. There it is. And if we take the derivative with respect to time, assuming V and R are both changing with respect to time, then we've got dv dt, that's the rate of change of the volume with respect to time, equals, using the power rule, 4 pi, reduce the exponent by 1, r squared, times chain rule, the derivative of r with respect to t. Now here's the key. In order, we can substitute negative 12 pi r, uh, negative 12 feet cube per hour, because that's what this rate is right here. In for dv dt, but we need to know what r is. And they told us that the volume, we want to know what the radius is doing when the volume is 400 cubic feet. So what is r when the volume is 400 cubic feet? Well, we got to go back to the original formula. This is 400 feet cubed, or cubic feet, by, uh, equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, multiply both sides by 3 fourths, and divide by pi. So r cubed is 300 pi, still feet cubed. Then when we take the cube root of 300 over pi, we're down to the radius in feet. And now we can substitute that value into the, this formula. 300 over pi to the one third, it's the same as the cube root of 300 over pi. And we got to square that. And so this is in feet. So this expression is feet squared. If I solve for dr dt, I'm dividing feet cube per hour by feet squared. That's why I get feet per hour. And that's the rate of change of the radius. So I went through some simplifications here, but you need a decimal approximation you have to figure out at what point you type stuff into the calculator but this is one possible exact answer right here uh, and I think it's about negative 0 0.046 Whoop. so that's how as the radius is decreasing when the volume is 400 cubic feet. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.